Hey everyone, uh, I'm Graham Dennison, artist. Welcome to my studio in southern sunny Spain in a lovely town called Marbella. Obviously, we're a lot of us spending our time at home at the moment. So, uh, as some of you will know, I am one of Oceana Cruz's uh, longest serving artists in residence, nearly nine years at sea now. And um, of course, like yourselves, inspired by all the wonderful ports of call that we visit, and I am also inspired to paint them. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you what I'm known for on board in the artist loft, and that is palette knife technique. So I have a little Greek painting of Santorini that I've just got a little bit of Bourgainvillea to do to finish it off. So we're gonna try and do that together so you can see a painting at the end. A lot of people say to me, when do I know it's finished? Well, I always say when it's done. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. I mean, I know some of you uh, have known me to be a, a Walt Disney artist also, so I'm hopefully gonna do another post uh, for a bit of fun, uh, showing you how to draw Mickey Mouse in three minutes. So you can, you know, teach your grandkids, your husbands, your wives, your partners, whatever, for a bit of fun in another post. So keep watching here on Oceana Cruises. Obviously very, privileged to, to sail with you all and uh, I know in these difficult times that we're all looking forward to when we will get back to sea. Uh, it's just a matter of time and uh, look forward to seeing you again. You can always find all my future artist in residence dates uh, on Oceana on their various ships on my website denisonart.com. So I'll keep you posted there and I'll keep that up to date. Obviously that is subject to change at the moment. But uh, anyway, without further ado, uh, let's get into the painting now and uh, hope you enjoy. Right folks, this is the painting I was talking about. Uh, obviously very iconic, recognisable Santorini in the Greek islands with the beautiful blue dome churches. And you'll notice I've just got a little bit of Bourgainvillea in this area here to finish the painting. So let's... Uh, zoom in on that and I'll show you how to use the palette knife technique. I'm using oil paints today which I do use most of the time and I'm going to start off this is the palette knife here some of you may recognize this tool I use this exclusively I don't use brushes and I'm going to start off by just covering or filling in with the knife a dark area. The beauty with palette knife is it's called wet on wet the system and you can literally take black paint and put opaque white on it while it's still wet. That's very hard to do, of course, with a brush. So let's just bang this area in here. Uh, some of you may remember a famous artist called Bob Ross. He used to paint happy little trees. So I'm doing some happy little Bourgainvillea. And then I just need to just get those end leaves in here. Just stippling now, so I'm just pressing down with the knife on top of the wet paint underneath. Don't want to cover our little bell tower, we need to keep that. Okay, let's go down here. There we go. So there's the basis uh, of the Bourgainvillea, so I've covered that dark area in. Beauty with the knife is no messing, no cleaning, other than you need a paper towel you wipe it and your knife's clean and good to go with another color. So now I need to put on top of that dark area some lighter green leaves because we want some contrast. Otherwise, if you don't get the contrast in, here we go, it tends to look a bit flat. So let's just put some stipples on here. I'm just touching the lighter color to the darker color Obviously with a palette knife the idea is, is you want texture so you can't be cheap with the paint and you need to get some nice lumps of colour on there. Okay, nearly there before we can start with a nice colourful Bourgainvillea on top. So there we have it, a, little, a few more underneath, okay. So there we have the dark and then the slightly lighter green. And now we can have the fun by planting the Bourgainvillea on top. 
here we go. A nice fuchsia pink. Okay. Again, just stippling as I go. We're starting with the darkest pink first because we always add the light on top. And to have light pop, you need to show darkness. So I'm getting the paint on quite thick here. Just stippling as I go. And you're seeing it come to life. This is the fun part towards the end. The anticipation of that painting nearly finished. So let's just put a few more flowers in towards the edge here. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my lighter pink. So just taking a bit of white oil paint and a bit of permanent rose for those budding artists amongst you. And now I can start going and adding light on top because this part of the bougainvillea is catching in the sunlight so it makes it look more 3d gives it more dimension now i'm doing this quite quickly but um, it's very effective as you can see let's get a bit more up there So we're nearly there. So let's just do a few more touches of lighter pink. Let's put some more up there. It's great. It's like doing your own landscaping in paint. And of course, you know, some of you, if you're in your homes and you're wondering what to do, well, why not, you know, order a palette knife online or pop to your art shop if it's open and have a go and of course book a cruise with Oceana with a ship with one of the uh, artists loft on board and uh, have a look on my website see my artist in residence dates for Oceana and come and learn from me how to do this while enjoying a wonderful cruise together so there we go I think I'm nearly done there I think I'm happy with that yeah that's great. So just zooming out so you can have a look as the picture is finished now as a whole. Well, that's it, folks. Here's the finished piece. I'm glad you could join me. hope you enjoyed it. And, um, you know, look forward to seeing you someday soon on another cruise where we're inspired by all these beautiful places. And... Uh, don't forget to look out for my other post on how to draw Mickey Mouse in three minutes. That's going to be a lot of fun too. So in the meantime, I'm Graham Dennison, artist in residence. Keep well, stay safe, and God willing, we'll see you all soon on a cruise somewhere in this beautiful world. Thanks for watching. Bye.